in any case if you can just <laughs> what is up guys welcome back to my channel today i have a special guest his name the one and only casey hey casey casey is one years old today and i thought we could talk about some of my favorite memories in the past year with him and also because i filmed content all day on his birthday and it turns out well Casey actually wanted me to show you guys this. I got this camera to make more content. I don't know if you can see it. I'm using my old camera to film this box. The camera that I'm filming on now isn't this camera. I just wanted, why am I explaining camera stuff you guys don't care about? I, anyways, I got this new awesome camera and I didn't know I was filming in slow motion. Random point in the video where I just want to say a shout out to this person right here. They said more Casey content and that motivated me to make a Casey birthday video which is what you're watching now, so like it. You guys are gonna have some wonderful B-roll footage as we make this little montage video or whatever I wanna call this. Anyways, we're here with Casey. Casey, how has it been being my dog for the past almost 10 months? Casey, I have uh, one question. I would like to know, how does it feel to be one years old as a Malinois? D do you have any comments for the microphone? Hey, can you sit up? Come on, make it more entertaining, get up. Do I gotta get treats? You don't want, do you want a treat or something? Do you want a treat? He's not doing a lot. Of Can you say something in the mic, please? Here, just say something. Say it. Did you guys hear my, my knee just crack? <laughs> All right, well, he's licking my leg. Why don't we just pick him up? The cool thing about Casey is that he is really cuddly. He's one of the cuddliest dogs I've ever known. Here, let's get you situated right here. In any case, if you can just... Man, fuck that microphone! Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Alright. Anyways, like I was saying, Casey is a really calm dog, and, um... <laughs> you gotta try that again. We can do it. We can do it. We're good. And, wow. Chilling, right? You good? Are you comfortable? Is this comfortable, Casey? You wanna say anything? I wanna give some thoughts on the past year. I was really nervous going into getting a Malinois. One, because when the first time I made a video talking about it, I pronounced it wrong and I thought people were gonna give me shit for that. The first thing that you should know about Dobermans is that they're, they're a working breed, like German Shepherds, um, Belgian Malinois. I always say that so weird. I hope I pronounced it right. And be like, how are you gonna get a dog breed you can't even pronounce? All right, shut up, I love my Malinois. I, I think the reason why I did that is because I, I live in Wisconsin and for my whole life, pretty much, up until like freshman year of high school, I thought that it was Illinois. Illinois. With a z at the end. And it's not, it's Illinois. And, and it's not Malinois or Malinois. It's Malinois. Malinois. I think, I don't even know. Anyways, I had a lot of nervousness besides pronouncing the name. Just because you know, these dogs are known to be like really high drive. Uh, luckily, you guys are catching Casey at his calm moments because we played Frisbee for about an hour. Oh, you heard Frisbee. You want a Frisbee, huh? But uh, he is sliding off this chair. He is definitely going to freak out. And I believe I'm going to hit myself in the face with this microphone. Are you good? Can I? Here, let me put the microphone down because I know he's about to flip. I'm going to lift you up. Oh, is this better? I want to zoom in a little. No, hold up. You're good. Hold on to my arm. Is this the same color sweatshirt I wore in the first video? Wait, wait. Here. Wait, wait. Wait. You're good, you're good. You're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you don't want to come up here? Go on the couch at least. Go on the couch at least, tell me. Cool. I was really nervous going into this, being a Malinois, just because I've heard that they take a lot of work, but I've had a high energy breed dog before. Some of you guys might know I had a Doberman prior to Casey. He passed away, unfortunately, uh, just shy of four years. I had almost four years of experiencing what it's like to have a high energy breed. And obviously, I don't think Doberman's energy levels really compare to a Malinois, but it did. It's not like I was jumping right into getting a Malinois. <laughs> just kidding, Malinois. Casey has been uh, really smart. S some of my favorite things is just how interested in stuff he is on his own. I will frequently look and see what he's doing and get that like, puppy PTSD sound 
of like, when you hear him chewing on something, you're like, what? What is it? What? What is it? What is that? What are you doing? What is that? Hey, I hear something. What? What are you doing? What are you chewing? You're chewing something. What is it? Where's my shoes? Are all my shoes here? And I'm sorry, I got this hogging around this big ass mic, dude. But I, th- I'm rocking with what I got. I bought this for streaming, and hopefully this audio is crisp and not in slow motion like the footage that you've seen that was supposed to be vlog content anyways like i was saying uh casey has always been really good at just chewing on his own toys he very rarely chews on stuff that is not his and if he does he doesn't do it to destroy it he does it to like the feeling of it he doesn't chew up shoes but he loves to chew on the little anglets those little plastic pieces Shout out to Phineas and Ferb for teaching me that word. He loves chewing on those. So I, here, let me get the, let me show you what I'm rocking. To the point where I literally just wear these. Look, you can tell. I got the busted 3000s right here. But there was a lot of times where I like am genuinely just impressed like, oh, you're just being a good boy chewing on your toy. I literally say that so much. Some problems that he has that we have to work on is humping. Unfortunately, he's a humper. So we're working on that. But I can say a hundred good things for every bad thing that has happened. Hardest thing that it has been, I'd say the past, in the in the whole year that I had him, the only issues we really ever had was just the potty training issues. And that's all on me. I take full responsibility for every accident. And luckily I trust him now in this room. If I can show you this, there's like a carpet down there. If you can see that. I'm literally going all over, but I just wanted to come in today and just I, I haven't made as many videos as I wanted to in the year that I had him, but I have also realized to be more present with my dogs, especially after losing Cyber. And I kind of apply that to everything. And uh, I would love to be more present with the channel and be more focused on it and my friends and my family, my loved ones. And Casey taught me a lot about that. He taught me what it is to give all my love into something again. And because it felt like I lost that with Cyber. And obviously I haven't forgotten about Cammy, but I know that Cammy's good with my mom's love. In the past year, pretty much, she has been there every Sunday and uh, she just loves it over there. But back to Casey's birthday, he's just, he's been a great ass dog. He has been so good. I thought I was gonna have moments where like I get no sleep or anything like that. My sleep schedule's already messed up. I get like an average of four hours of sleep a night, so nothing really changed in that aspect you know, i was someone who loved getting eight to ten hours of sleep i can see how i would have a worse experience during that puppy phase but he didn't really give me problems honestly maybe i'm just a heavy sleeper i don't know but things that he loves let's get into that sorry i'm just rambling casey he loves to chase frisbees i think i think that's his his malinois work like his, his working dog a uh, role is chasing frisbees. He doesn't give a fuck about anything else. Seriously, it's crazy. And I actually, I uh, was going to the park with some friends, and we were trying to find a frisbee to play catch with at the park. And I bought this spinning flying disc. It was called in the dog section, and we tried using it, and it would always just lop to the to the sides. I don't need to get into it, but basically, this frisbee did not go really far. And I learned that it works really good to spin it. So not throwing it and spinning it sideways throwing it like a whatever you throw like this <laughs> i can't think of anything um if you were to throw a ninja star like that uh that's crazy that's the first thing i think of i was trying to get him to say something say something in the mic go say something go so go say something roof roof speak roof what am i saying am i saying happy birthday roof, roof. that's something anyways he loves pacing spinning frisbees on the ground he's really good at catching frisbees i actually have a really cool content before i get into the frisbees i want to give some context of what we did for his birthday which is kind of related to what he loves obviously he loves going to my parents house because they play frisbee with him and like run straight to the to the yard to play frisbee when we go there he's like all right let's go come on start the frisbee game and uh let me zoom out so you guys can see him stay on the couch look at him just chilling like a good boy you know? Like, I still got a couch. It's not chewed up. Anyways, we celebrated his birthday early so the whole family could get together with him because people were working today on his actual birthday. And uh, we got him a little outfit. He was wearing a little sombrero and a, a poncho or, or something. Please don't cancel me or him. We didn't. We're not trying to appropriate anyone. We. It's just a dog costume. And uh, so, yeah, I, I surprised them by bringing him in that little costume. 
and uh all right buddy i'm gonna get i'm gonna sit closer to the to the computer all right guys i'm gonna get a little bit closer so i can lock into the camera here's casey in the background whoops hopefully you can see him better stop moving bro i gotta get the angle oh my gosh <laughs> watch how he gets off couches he rubs his nuts all over it look watch him rub his nuts all over this couch he does that every time he gets off something. Speaking of getting off, I gotta get off this video. I'm just rambling about stuff. Y'all, I love Casey. He's he's such a good dog. I wouldn't change anything about him. He's uh, He shows a lot of loyalty already. He's always making sure if he hears something outside, he gives me... Look at him. Look at him. What? Look at Look. Look. Speaking of, that's his favorite Frisbee right there, if you can see it. What is that? Is it stuck under the chalk? Board. Here, I gotta go get it. Hold on. And then I'll end the video. It's stuck under something. It got out the way. Here, buddy. I got you for him. There you go. Go get it. Go get your frisbee. Where's your frisbee? Go get it. Go get it. Go get your frisbee. Go get it. Bring it back. Show the show the people your frisbee. Your favorite frisbee, huh? You gonna go on the couch with it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I got that, but he almost fell coming in here. This is a perfect way to end the video. Get up there, buddy. Come on, jump up. I don't want it, we're not playing right now. If he drops it, he'll just run circles around me until I throw it. Come on, get up. Up here, buddy. Just chill there. I don't want your Frisbee. Anyways, this is his favorite Frisbee. Thank you for showing the viewers and telling me to get to the point, Casey. Uh, when we got there, we were playing Frisbee, and it was pretty cool because like, I was getting all these cool shots with my camera. I thought I was getting audio too, and we were all just having fun laughing. But it, honestly, it does look cool in slow motion. But if you look right here, there's a spot where I'm, there's a part where I'm with Cammy, and then all of a sudden Casey's running to get the frisbee, and I'm so committed to the shot. I see he's running straight towards me. He jumps, and I like, I, I gotta do it. Act like this is the camera, right? I'm doing this, and I see him jumping, and I just cover my face with the camera, and I follow the wind of where I hear him, and I got such a cool shot of him jumping over me. He took notice of me jumped over me and caught the frisbee it was just so cool and i just love his drive to do stuff and it makes me want to do stuff more for the channel and show off like what he can do and uh drew made a comment recently on his birthday and he said like, if we really tried we could do like, talent show level stuff and that was like showing him light work of just playing with him that comment meant a lot and got me thinking anyways y'all thanks for tuning in to the little update it is the end of his birthday so i think i'm gonna call it here Today, we, uh, besides what we did at my parents' house, today I took him to a pet store and I told him he can pick anything that he touched. He touched a lot of stuff and it was really expensive. So that quickly changed to one thing and he got this collagen, I believe it's pronounced, beef collagen bone. He didn't really chew on it yet, but I think he will after he eats dinner and he's like looking for something to snack on. We've been really careful about bloats and all that. Whenever, you know, he's done eating, we don't play or anything. Soon I want to switch to feeding him twice a day because I read that's more healthier for dogs, who, larger breeds at least. And I hope you guys like this little video of his birthday. I wish it was more vlog style, but all the content is silent and slowed down that I filmed that day. So I will learn from my mistake and at least you got to see some good B-roll footage. But I appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, let me know what y'all think about this format. Um, I would love to do little recaps and stay on track a little bit better next time but appreciate y'all tuning in casey anything you would like to say about your favorite frisbee he muted the mic anything you want to say about your he keeps muting the mic don't mute the mic anything you gotta say about your favorite frisbee do not touch the top of the mic or else you'll mute it hey anything else you want to say buddy anything else nothing like the video it's for y'all all right wait watch him drag his nuts again watch him the nut dragger come on casey drag your nuts look at him oh he didn't do it all right y'all much love thanks for watching feels good to be back and uh give me time i genuinely love doing this and i just love looking into a lens and talking and my goal is to articulate myself more and express myself and this is the form that works best for me but i did this before being a youtuber was a thing this was my only friend at one time. Thanks for being my friend today in this video. All right, enough about me. Please check out my Instagram where it's all my dogs and 
a little bit of what I do. Uh, go comment happy birthday Casey on my recent Instagram post and I will read it out loud to Casey. All right, bye.